Hi, on behalf of SQ Future Tech, I welcome you to this little look into the Steel Auto Drafter, one of the most powerful software from the SQ basket of products. Steel Auto Drafter is an amazing solution which helps you translate a model from the analysis solution, a center line as you can see here, into complete working drawings, plans, sections, projected views, right up to MTOs. The whole process is completely automated, one click and a lot of features are available for you to customize the kind of output that you want. We'll quickly run into how the whole process actually works. Let's say we start with a very typical you know, industrial building as you can see on the screen. So it's a very typical industrial building with a portal and a lot of plans and so on. And the endeavor for us is to translate this into complete working drawings. And to do that, we access our software, the Steel Auto Drafter connect to the start file as you can see here and complete the entire process. So let's say I just bring up the file. All I need to do is to define what locations I want to grid mark. So what you can see on the screen here is along the three directions X, Y and Z all the node coordinates and from there what we define is what is the location of the grid mark. So I say I want a grid called A here at X equal to 0, a grid called B at X equal to 5 and so on. And then just go and say draw generate a plan in a section select you want a layout plan or a section let's say i want a layout plan at a level called 2.5 meters select a scale define the multi member heights and so on and just say draw the software will go into autocad start a new session and draw the whole thing into autocad so if i just go into autocad and you can actually see the drawing is getting generated right now in front of us the entire geometry is translated from center line to an actual 2d taking cognizance of the actual member sizes and so on to create a complete drawing as you can see right just now in front of you. So the whole drawing comes out with all the grids marked, there's a schedule of sections that are used, there's a material takeoff and some legends which explains the acronyms that are used in the drawing in itself. Uh, the software also creates a drawing with complete with all layer system, textiles, dimension styles and so on. And if I zoom into the drawing you'll actually find that all different members have been brought out so this is actually you know a built up column in itself. It can also differentiate between the moment connection and a shear connection. So here actually see the moment connection is flush with the shear connection. There's a gap here. It also picks up any shape that you can define in stat. So, you know, uh, a cross eye or a double eye channel, built up eye sections, eye section with top and bottom cover plates and so on. And the section, you know, uh, all possible sections, whether Indian, US, European, the entire section database is available in itself. The schedule of sections here actually defines all the sections that are used, uh, gives you a, a quick shape view of what they are, and also a detailed MTO, which gives you the material take of all the members which are part of that drawing in itself. So it's a complete drawing with all elements in place. To push it further, what we could also do is, let's say, instead of uh, you know generating full sections, some engineers like to draw with cut sections. So I just say, give me a cut section, I say draw. And it translates that same drawing into a drawing with cut section. So if you just go into AutoCAD, you can actually see the drawing getting generated in front of you. And here, instead of using the full sections, we're actually using the part sections in itself. So different strokes for different users, you know, different people have different methods of producing drawings, all supported by our software in itself. What you could also do is, uh, let's say, uh, this in this project, uh, the lowermost level is actually an RCC level, because obviously up to plinth means we generally tend to have RCC. So that's fine with uh, Steel Auto Drafter. You can actually pick up that level. Let's say I go to a level called zero here and draw. So even if it's an RCC member, it's fine with it. It can actually draw the layout of the RCC members as well. There you are. So the drawing with the RCC columns and beams. So it doesn't really matter whether you know, it's only steel. It could also be RCC, though the name actually is Steel Auto Drafter, but primarily built, of course, for steel buildings in itself. Now we move to more interesting things. So let's say I want to cut a section and I want to cut a section through the building. So I say cut a section and define the direction. So what I do want to do a section across X or across Z and let's say to begin with I want to do a section across X and I give a location at X equal to 5 meters and just say draw. Now if I go back to the analysis model you'll actually see uh, at X equal to 5 meters what you actually have is a portal in itself. So this is a X equal to 5 meters sorry this is at X equal to 5 meters. You can actually have a portal and it will translate this portal into a complete drawing. So in the stat model, there is of course one node where the portal and the column etc is connected. Coming into a drawing, you will find that it has translated that into an actual reality. So the column terminates with a cap plate, there is a base plate for the portal, the portal bends, the ridge of the portal is maintained, purlins if model will be picked up, even if you don't model purlins, there is a method of defining purlins 
uh, for steel auto drafter to recognize it gives you the uh, the sheeting in itself which is complementary from our side uh, also identifies all cross members draws them now this is a built up column so consequently is actually giving you indicative button place to show their you know it's a built up column in itself uh, different kinds of built up sections so this is a nice section with top and bottom cover plates going further down wherever there is going to be an intersection between steel and concrete you'll actually get a base plate in itself and this level by default becomes the underside of the base plate so all of that is automatically done by the software another interesting thing that it does is whenever you model in analysis the y coordinate that we provide is taken by the analysis software as the cg of the member though we actually need it to be either the tos or the toc so what steel auto drafter does is when it is translating that analysis model into the drawing it pulls the members down to ensure that the mem the level indicated by the user is actually the top of steel and not the cg so here you will see the elevation here is 2.5 meters top of steel or 6 meters top of steel same the analysis model will find is 2.5 or 6 will tend to be the CG of the members. So you can see these are all 5.999, so 6 meters at CG of the members. So all those translations and corrections or understanding the intent of the engineer is automated by the software. Now let's say you want to cut a section the third direction. So I say I want to cut a section equal to Z and pick any coordinate, let's say 0 in itself, I say draw. So here it will now pick up this view which is basically uh, you know, the cross members and so on. So you actually see the bracings here, there you are just generate the drawing so even when the bracings are generated to ensure that the bracings do not intersect the vertical elements all the corrections are made automatically and the drawing gets generated so if you zoom in you'll find that you know one bracing goes through and through one bracing gets cut uh, the gaps are left exactly uh, generally around 20 mm as per the normal convention so if you want to then actually build your fabrication drawing on this base in itself so that's the level of accuracy that is you know brought to the fore by steel auto drafter or if I go in here, you can actually see built up section. So this is actually an I section, a built up of plates defined in the analysis model. So you know, Steel Auto Drafter has the capability of picking up all of these members also. So they don't have to be the actual, you know, prismatic members that are available. Even built up sections can be easily accommodated. Now these were outputs from a typical 3D model. Let's say you have a 2D model. Let's say we have a truss. So uh, we don't go into a 3D. Would that matter? Not at all. So if I pick up a 3D output, let's say I pick up a truss file and here you will see that there are no coordinates in the z direction indicating that it's actually a 2d model i could still go and translate this i can just say dented planet section give me a section at z equal to zero of course because there is no other coordinate here i select a larger scale i just say draw it will translate that into a detailed drawing so just look at the correction that the software does now when we model our top chord bottom chord and column all meet at one node However, when the drawing is generated, you'll find the translation is automatically done by Steel Auto Drafter, wherein the column ends, there's a cap plate for the column, a base plate for the bottom chord, then the bottom chord is placed and all the other members are moved up. So the top chord or the verticals, you know, all of these members are moved up. At the same time, the ridge is maintained. So this three meters is the same that you will actually get the analysis model. So all that is automated by the software and the complete drawing is generated. Here also, you'll find that we've used some other sections for purlin. So purlins could be, you know, a built up section like this. This is a double, uh, you know, angle built up section or it could be a channel um, or any element or any member that, you know, you would define in itself. Another interesting thing that Steel Auto Drafter does is gives you the ability to draw output for projected view so let's say in the uh, earlier model we were looking at you know the portal so if i want to project the inclined portal onto horizontal surface or in a model like this which is actually a transmission tower and let's say i want to project this vertical surface onto uh, this inclined surface onto a vertical surface so what i do is let's say view all the labels let's say give me the node numbers and so on say okay you can actually view this inclined surface so what i do is go into steel auto drafter and i connect to that file so i say create a new file and I connected this to this projected view file and I'll say generate a projected view and here I have the option of projecting to either of the three planes so it could be a plan or a YZ or an XY projection so if I go to the analysis model you say let's say here we want to project on the YZ plane up and define the plane so let's say we want to project the members which are defined by a surface or a plane which is constituted by nodes 2, 12 and 13 simple geometric definition so I just go in here and say I want a YZ projection and there is one plane and it is defined by no nodes 2, to, sorry, 12, 
and 13. I select a scale again and just say draw. When I do that, you will find that it will project that. So there, so it's actually created a projected view. So it's projected that inclined surface onto a vertical surface. So these are the projected lengths and not the true lengths in itself. So the actual projection gets taken care of. And if I zoom in, you'll actually find that here we actually use pipes and rectangular hollow section. So even those members can be easily picked up and you know and converted into a drawing by the steel auto drafter. So it doesn't have to be actually the prismatic steel members in itself. What we also do is give you the ability to generate uh, BOQ. So obviously there is a BOQ per element that comes in. Now if I actually want to take an MTO at the entire you know model level, I guess say export MTO to drawing. So it will convert and translate the and export the entire MTO. So all the elements that I've used is actually giving you the entire MTO in itself. So it's a much smaller model here. So you can actually see the whole thing coming out much faster. What you can also do is you know completely configure the entire drawing output so if i go to tools here there's an option called drawing style and here i can completely configure the drawing style so what are the layer descriptions that i want what colors do i want what you know what labels do i want to use for the various members do i want to use this reference number or actually use a section description so you know ismb 400 or you know hc250 or whatever it is so you can directly use that and of course also configure the fonts or text heights the label heights the grid marking do you want it a circle or a capsule and so on and so forth so completely flexible supremely fast taking you from an analytical model to a complete detailed drawing in a matter of seconds is what steel auto drafted us so just running you through the kind of drawing that we gen just generated in, in hardly uh, 10 minutes actually gives you a great sense of the feel of the kind of speed the steel auto drafter brings to you thank you very much